Composer Dad. Hey, Composer Dad Adventurers. Welcome to the podcast. It's the final podcast of season one of Composer Dad versus Bibles. It's a really exciting vent- adventure I have for you today. Last time uh, we left the gang, they were climbing Mount Beacon, and this episode picks it up right where we left off. Lots of action. And stick around after Grandma has her second episode of Grandma's Pod yeah, Blast. Stick around. She also has a special guest that may or may not be a talking mountain. Okay, anyway, enjoy. Having just completed an intense hike, I stand at the peak of Mount Beacon, surveying the Hudson Valley and exploring the ruins of the hotel and incline railway that used to serve vacationers on the sainted peak. Squishy Baby and Builder Boy are using stones to build mini replicas of the hotel and incline railway. Professor Mob effortlessly guides this moment to gently foster their development. As passionate as I am about early Soviet theater, I'm even more passionate about early childhood development. Suddenly, there's a massive explosion. The cable from the old incline railway breaks free and slices through the hotel ruins, sending a wall flying towards Squishy Baby. Builder Boy swoops in, bracing the wall, and saving Squishy Baby from peril. See you, that was a close one, says Builder Boy. I start to wonder, how did Builder Boy lift up that giant wall? He's done a lot of incredible rescues over the last year, always preceded by a gear shifting sound. <gasps> can Builder Boy transform into a... Builder Boy can transform into a forklift. Oh, yes, of course. Professor Mom, yes, yes, I, of course, yes. I feel embarrassed for missing that, for not cherishing the many gifts of my family members. Though I know I should, I do not speak honestly about my guilt and embarrassment. Instead, I bury my emotions. Suddenly, there's another massive explosion. A huge chasm opens up, revealing an abandoned coal mine. Kids, if there's one thing we've learned from reading children's books about cheeky train engines, if you see an abandoned coal mine, always go in. We enter. It's dark. There's a rumble. The ground in front of us gives way. We stand on a precipice, overlooking a lake of lava. Then I hear a voice. Hello, Composer Dad. Hello, Bible. We meet again. I'm not Bible, I'm Mount Beacon. This is usually the scenario where I meet a talking Bible with an intense compositional challenge. I sense you are sad. I'm here to remind you of the love that lifts you up. Feeling inspired, Mount Beacon and I bust into the chorus of a timeless duet. Love lift us up where we belong Where the eagles cry On the mountain high Love lift us up where we belong Far from the world we know Up where the clear winds blow Suddenly, a huge door opens up and out steps Bible with another intense compositional... I'm not Bible. They call me Grandma. Hello, Grandma. Yes, I am guarding this vault, the most secure vault in the land. It's in a volcano inside the mountain. Do you have anything of value to place into this vault for safekeeping? Yes, here is my chocolate peanut butter overnight oatmeal recipe. The lyrics to my Tick Check song, and a couple CDs. Inside, I wonder if this is enough. What is my worth? Regrettably, I again bury my emotions. Sure, that'll do. Here's the key if you need to get into the vault and I am not available. Farewell. Suddenly, the ground shakes, lava bubbles, smoke fills the void. The walls of the abandoned coal mine start caving in. Woe to me. I cry. I am ruined. Again, I meditate on my inadequacy. Suddenly, out of the smoke appears a seraph. The radiant celestial being flies toward me with a live coal in its hands, then touches my lips with the coal. It's really hot. See, this call has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away, and your sin atoned for. Relieved and bewildered, I stand. Free, I hug my family. Mm-hmm. Suddenly, busting through a wall of lava, it's Bible. 
with another intense compositional challenge for me, Composer Dad. Hello, Bible. We meet again. I say, standing tall. Hello, Composer Dad. I see you are standing in an abandoned coal mine. Yes, a celestial being just touched coal to my lips, freeing me from guilt. This reminds me, the exact same thing happened to the prophet Isaiah. A seraph touched his lips with coal, freed him from guilt, then sent him out to the people. I want you to write a song about this account as told in Isaiah 6. Also, include a jazz flute. Goodbye. I knew Bible wasn't far away when I saw that lake of lava open up inside the mountain. Also the seraphs. No problem, Bible. I say, but Bible is already gone. Builder boy, could you use your forklift power to bust through this coal wall? No problem, Daddy. <laughs> through the wall, we rushed past the vault and Grandma. Stay safe on the road! We continue out of the coal mine and down the mountain. On the way, we meet an accomplished flautist on a day trip from the city. She agrees to play on my song about Isaiah chapter 6. Sure, no problem. At home, we all check for ticks. It's time for a tick check. Oh, it's time for a tick check. Follow along while you sing the song. It's time for a tick check. Then we turn on the microphone in the Composer Dad underground lair and quickly lay down a track. As we sing, I think back upon the many adventures of the year, the verses, and the family that I love. everybody that's the last episode of season one of composer dad versus bible but don't worry i'm already working on season two and guess what on season two in addition to bible you are going to be able to make your own intense compositional challenges you know so maybe you have some sort of problem that you want to solve with music like you keep forgetting where your keys are or you ran out of uh blueberry pie or i got a lot of problems that could be solved with music hey grandma nice Nice acting in that episode. Thank you. Well, you know, it's some material. No, actually, I was improvising my lines, actually. I felt the moment. Speaking of which, though you are wrapping up your season here, yeah. I am just getting rolling. Uh, episode two of Grandma's Pod Blast is ready to rock. Roll the tape. Down to the tight Grandma's Pod Blast. And then really good. 
Hello, welcome to Grandma's Pod Blast. I'm your host, Grandma. First up, the news. Politics are still going on and then mingling with the weather and uh, summer blockbusters, movies. Can you play that music and the sound effects yeah. again? Yes. You know, I like that. Sure. Just until I get a professional yeah. band. Uh, yes. All right. right. Today we got a very special guest. You may remember him from the Composer Dad vs. Bible Pod Blast episode. It's Mount Beacon. Hello. Hi, Mount Beacon. It's great to be here. First question. This is going to be hard-hitting. Okay. I understand that you are really a volcano. Is that true? Yes, that is true. Fascinating. Sounds very warm. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I got a question from one of the Composer Dad listeners, Katrina. She asks, how have you gotten through the most difficult parts of life as a mountain? Good question. Wow, great question, Katrina. Well, I have to say that uh, love, love lifts me up. Love lifts me up. Oh, right. Yeah, I remember that from the pod blast. Yes. You sing a song. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, we should play the clip. Ah, cue the clip, Jimmy. J- is that- Jimmy, cue the clip. Is that me? Okay. Love lift us up where we belong. Where the eagles cry on the mountain. Great. Well, you, you got a great voice. Thank you. You know, I sing as well. Oh. Can we sing together? Do you know jazz? Yes. Yeah, play the... Here we go. Right, keep it up there, composer dad. Good. All right. Oh, you know what that sound means. Play the sound. Oh, uh... Um, play the sound. Okay. Ah. It's the lightning round. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, great. First question, lightning round. It's going to come at you pretty fast. How many days in a week? Seven. How many weeks in a year? 52. Um, what's your favorite thing that's uh, blue? Blueberries. How many birds have you seen in your life? Four million. Um, do you play any instruments? Trumpet. Where are we? Beacon. What's 604? 604. And... Last one, um, last one, lightning. What is lightning? Lightning is electricity. Okay, all right. Thanks for coming by, Mount Beacon. That's all the time we have for today. Episode two in the books, in the years. Remember to subscribe, rate, and review for the algorithms. We'll see you next time on Grandma's Pod Blast. Stay safe on the road, everybody. Down for the time, Grandma's Pod Blast. And then Composer Dad podcast is produced by me, Jonathan Roberts, a.k.a. Composer Dad. Today's song, Ruined, is available on the ComposerDad.com site in Bandcamp, and there you can also find additional credits for these songs in the year. Now, I love podcasts, and I I think you might too. You can listen in your car while you're hiking, and I want to encourage you to tell your friends how cool podcasts are. Not just this one, but just how great they are in general. Parents, there are also some other fun Composer Dad things to do with your kids. Oh, here's my kid, one of them. Uh, while I work on season two. Um, <laughs> so I have a Composer Dad show on Facebook Live and there's songwriting jams on the Composer Dad YouTube channel and we, where we write a song together in an hour. Can I tell you something? Yeah, yeah, you can tell me something. Um, 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 I'm here too, Builder Boy. Builder Boy's here. And, and there's Grandma over there. Yeah, over here. He's a, he, how, how, you, how you stuck to the roof? Why are you stuck to the roof? I'm stuck to the roof? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I guess I'm sicky. <laughs> Are we improvising? Um, I'm not here. No Hip hop. So I be up there? Okay, well, while they figure out where they are, I want to tell you that I'm going to be putting things in that vault that I mentioned for Composer Dad fans and patrons on Patreon. So for all this stuff, you just sign up on the mailing list, composerdad.com. Sign up. Dinner's ready. But, but, what a world. But, but,